thing. <laughs> hey guys, gals, friends, and pals. This is Paul Acevedo of Windows Central. Tonight I'm joined on the mic by Lyle, also known as Icky. Hey. We've got Tyler H., also known as Tyler I. <laughs> That's me. And Aaron, also known as Formalogic. Hey guys. Rock on, and we're going to play a little Farming Simulator 17 just for a little while, and then after that we are switching to Titanfall 2. So please stick around for both halves of the live stream if you're watching live. We're going to hop right into multiplayer. Create a game here. We will do file number three. We will play on easy because forget that noise. The game. Yeah, farming's hard. <laughs> exactly. Getting out there, working the land. The game comes with two different maps. I don't know if they ever added new maps to 15 or not, but we will go with the default one because it's a little prettier, I think. You can be a boy or a girl this time. That's a big improvement over the first game where you always had to be a guy. They added women. Only bad thing is you cannot change your skin color, so you do have to be a white person. This was developed by Europeans. I forget what country they live in, like the Netherlands or someplace. Anyway, uh, the developers of Giant Software probably live in a country where everyone is white, but it is important to think of the global market and think of people who are different than you who might be playing your game. So I would really like to see them add skin color choice in the future, maybe a little more customization than what there is already. You can change your shirt. <laughs> so, I mean, that's really what Yeah, matters. thank goodness we can do that, right? It's very inclusive of different All right, things. allow only friends, and we're going to start. Bob Jones, Stardew Valley is coming to Xbox One. Yes, it is officially announced. We did a, It's using Mono Game to be brought to Xbox One, and we did a big story on Mono Game, and we talked about it just a little bit in that article. I hope everybody read my Mono Game article, which I was so proud of. <laughs> Uh-oh, Lenny wants to know what the H stands for. Lenny, just go to our Discord channel, and you'll see that... We answer that question in the what does the H in Tyler H stand for portion of our Discord server. That's right. That's right. You can suggest your own H's. <laughs> there are no women farmers, Zero says. I'm not so sure. How do you think farmers reproduce? There must be women in the chain somewhere. That's a good question. Oh, that's interesting. GamerTactic says Verdun is coming to Xbox One. Isn't that a World War One battle location, something like that? Yeah, it's on PlayStation. I don't know if it's World War One, but it looks. I guess it is based on like what I've seen on the store and the pictures of it. Oh wow! Okay, you guys join the game, please, Icky and Formalogic. My bad. <laughs> Auto playing videos. I guess that's what I get for surfing oh, the internet. Tyler. What? Yo, I know. Game. Oh. I mean, the room name. Just I, I don't, don't know. See you. Uh, let me invite you through the guide. We'll do it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, zero. Yeah, that's wrong. Zero. Friends in clubs. Uh, no. Yeah, it turns out my Xbox One S was not on the preview program. And so I recently got it into that invite to a game. All right, and let's get Icky in here. Good old Sticky Icky, as he's often known. Battle of Verdun was one of the most famous mm -hmm. battles hey, in hey. history. I did. I but did was it World War One or a different one? Uh, I don't know. Did Perfect Zero say? I don't think it, he said. It's World War One. I. I called it. There you go. Okay. Yeah, you can you can auto accept people in which case they'll just be able to hop into your game without the prompt, I think, or maybe but it's nice to have you know, to have the option of denying people just in case you don't want them screwing around with your farm. Darker player says that zero on Twitch is sexy, I have to agree. <laughs> Zero one asks where's the PBR button? Oh man. We need one of those. Yeah. Yeah, actually, oh, tonight nice. I'm having Not Your Father's Ginger Ale, one of my favorite drinks. How about you guys? Uh, nothing. Shock top. Plain water. Plain water. <laughs> yeah. 
Shock top, top nice. Yeah, you're right, it is. <laughs> Shock top's good with right, an uh, How do we get in Carcian? And 11. Alright. Oh, there's Icky walking right up to me. He's walked onto my truck. Here's something we can show people if we don't want the game to look good. Is that there's no physics for riding on vehicles, so like, if they... You just fall right off. You can't even ride in the back of a truck, for instance, which you would be able to do if the game had proper physics. And <laughs> let's zoom in a little here. The the driving camera angle by default is not good, but <laughs> okay, guys, let's uh, go get in some tractors and work the land. Maybe I don't know. One thing I'll say about this game, and it applied to 15 as well, is that the color palette they use is a little bit ugly. Like, everything's a little bit too yellow or orangish, I would say, so the fields and stuff, they're not as green as they really should be. Hey, Ziplo! Welcome back! Yes, we're glad to have you. Ziplo is from the UK, I believe, isn't that right, Ziplo? So he has got a tractor. That's a nice tractor. I'm gonna ram him. Boom! The vehicles do have collision, which is nice. The walking <laughs> Oh, the walking. On the, on the yes, it's <laughs> real bad. <laughs> and uh, Formal Logic has gotten into a... What is that? Like a thresh? I don't know what you call those things. Let's drive through the cornfield see what that does. Oh, the corn just sticks right out through the truck. That doesn't look right at all. <laughs> you can hop back and forth between all your different vehicles using left and right on the D-pad, which is a good feature. Yeah, I like that. You don't have to run through yeah. the vehicle. So, uh, I've actually just hopped into a train, which is one of the new features of Farming Simulator 17. So I might as well ride the train around a little bit. Start filling. How do I fill it? You use the train to transport grains and stuff around, I guess. And then you can sell them. That's what farmers do, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trains. Well, oh. I mean, because, like... A lot of these things you someone else would do, but they're all part of the chain of, you know, the agricultural production chain, so they allow you to do them in the game. And that's not bad. But actually, driving the train around is really relaxing, and you can play with the camera if you want, just get some nice picturesque angles, take in the sights. Can you honk the horn? Uh, oh, well, I just switched to cockpit view, and it's really cool looking. Now I really feel like I'm driving a train. You can drive... I know you can... Can you honk other things, horns, Zicky? Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Honking the horn. Word. Going over a bridge. Crop dusting, Montezuma asks. You cannot... I don't think there's any airplane flying, unfortunately. Hey, Link. Welcome to the stream. And hey, Dark Six. Yeah, just so everybody knows, we are going to play Titanfall 2 in just a little while. We're just doing a quick little multiplayer jaunt here in Farming Simulator 17. Because we, we really like... It's funny, Farming Simulator has a lot of little issues and it's rough around the edges, but we really like that it exists, I guess. And the uh, Farming Sim devs and publisher are really nice to us, so we thought we would show off the game a little bit. It's, you know, it's nice to show people something different. Tyler, I understand you only like games in which you get to kill things. Uh, yeah. And that doesn't have any reading or a story of anything. Oh, yes. You're very picky about what you like, man. That's right. So, and I mean, a lot of players are like that. Whoa, the train just keeps going while I hop out. I like to imagine that I'm rolling through the grass like a hopo. <laughs> <laughs> We picked a Galvatron wonders why we would pick a farming sim. You know, to be honest, I just, I like that Farming Simulator exists because it is so different and it is, it's not trying to be like other games. I do wish the developers maybe played more Minecraft so they could borrow more ideas and things that Minecraft does better. But yeah. still, it's, it's nice that there are games about different topics and professions and things that you wouldn't or ordinarily expect. Every game doesn't need to be the same. I actually think there's like two or three different farming simulators out now. There's like copycats of this game. Even. Yeah, I noticed that. In fact, one of them was on sale for the Halloween sale on PlayStation, or just maybe the weekly sale. Uh, what is huh. it? It's Professional Farmer 2017 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like, 
as plain as this game might seem to you, Professional Farmer is even plainer. Yeah, I <laughs> can imagine. This this game has, uh, I was talking with Paul earlier, uh, this game has the most dramatic opening sequence of any game <laughs> I've ever seen. Too bad. For a game that is very anticlimactic. Too bad we skipped it. <laughs> uh -oh. Why isn't it letting me work the crane? Controls. Oh, okay. Use the right stick. Yeah, like, the way you can... Like we said, you deliver goods to places, and you have to load them and unload them. And here you can actually work the winch or the crane arm. It's like the crane game. But you can't actually grab things unless there's real things there to grab, I guess. Let's see. But, um, yeah. Oh, hey, Sergeant Torrente. Cool, Sergeant Torrente says he's interested in it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, this game is only 50, so at least it's a little bit cheaper than other games. Now I'm going to show off this tractor. And let's see, you have to attach the attachment on the back. It's not attached by default. There we go, got it on. You can hire workers to do some of these tasks for you so that you don't have to do them yourself. Ah! Just attached it by mistake. Did you guys already mow this whole yard or something? <laughs> no. Okay, how do I fold culti lower cultivator? There we go. Okay, I'm cultivating the land. <laughs> oh yeah. Cultivating. <laughs> Galvatron, you're having a very strong reaction oh, really? to farming simulator. <laughs> Was oh, I'm going to the uh, basketball. Oh, part. nice. That's a good thing to show off. Translate to me so I'll let you know. I'm on the way nice. Up. Icky is being very proactive. Yeah, I have to imagine that a far a farmer one day in the past did Galvatron's family wrong, and so he's never quite been able to forgive them. <laughs> so, as you can see here, I'm I'm doing something just like our first farming simulator stream a year and a half ago. I didn't have time to do the tutorials or anything yet, so I don't know that much about how to actually do what you're supposed to do. Did you ever have more time to play it, you guys? I played it for about an hour and went through the tutorial and stuff. Was there an achievement for the yeah, tutorial? I, think, uh... I don't think there is in this one, is there? I don't recall one. That's a shame. Oh, uh, Cycling Guy Nola says he doesn't need any more farming. He's seen plenty in real life. He still hasn't quite gotten it <laughs> over yet. That's true. Farm that land. Thank you, Tech Guy. Tech Guy's got the right idea. I'm going to drive this over to that field over there. Let's make that corn maze that somebody suggested. <laughs> hey, Famicor, welcome to the stream. It's good to have all you here. Yeah, guys, as long as you're here, we should make our big announcement, which is already announced in the article for tonight's stream. And that is the next weekend, we are going to switch from Twitch to Beam for our live streaming. So, you know, we've had a good run on Twitch. We've been going for two whole years, as a matter of fact. Every Saturday, you know, with a few Saturdays off, but almost every Saturday for two whole years. And now we're going to be doing that on Beam, which is Microsoft's new live streaming platform. Uh, Tyler, do you recall the Beam news that was announced last week? Ah! I okay, how about you, Formalogic? I bet I you got it. Yep. Tell us about it. Uh, I forget. Oh, is it? Is it that they have now 100 total users <laughs> on the site? <laughs> Very good, Tyler. Very good. <laughs> See, somebody was paying attention. Uh, Got it. Sinogaris, you may need to install a new app. It depends on how you watch the streams, you guys. If you watch... I mean, uh, Beam has really good web browser support. Unlike Twitch, you can watch Beam in the browser of almost anything. Like on an Xbox One, you can watch it right there in the web browser. On Windows Phone 8, Windows Phone 10, you can watch it right there in the web browser. So even if your platform doesn't have an app for it, it probably will work in the web browser. 
Yes, thank you. See, even Lenny knows. Lenny's not a gamer, and he knows what the Beam news was. But, uh, yeah, they announced that basically Beam integration is coming to both Xbox One and Windows 10 early next year. So they didn't announce anything for Windows Mobile 10, which is worrisome, but hopefully that will get a real app, too. No PlayStation 4 beaming? Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't sound like it. But, I mean, if they really wanted to take off, you'd think they would release an app for it eventually. Yeah, I can't imagine. I actually think that they probably will at some point, because it's not they're not really in competition with Sony on that. They're in competition with Twitch. Yeah, and the more things that Beam is on, the better they can compete. More, yeah, exactly. Nice. Hey, Paul, I'm at the uh, basketball. Okay, park. I'm going to hop. I'm getting good. Yeah, we're going to show off one new thing they added to the game. Thank you for doing that, Icky. They've added a basketball court to the this map, and there's an achievement you can get for shooting, for making a three-pointer. Yeah, scoring a three-pointer. And I even did a little YouTube achievement guide for it. Gamatron wants to see zombies. Unfortunately, there are no zombies. So you... Zombie farm. Cool. <laughs> there you go. You can pick up the basketball and throw it. The physics are not great or anything. Like, picking it up is kind of rough. But let's see if we can do a three-pointer. First try, three-pointer right there. And that would have been an achievement if I didn't already have it. However, there are no achievements in multiplayer, which makes me really upset. Because the, the developers, I met them in person at E3 last year. And I really tried to explain to them why people should be able to earn achievements in multiplayer. And they just, apparently they just didn't get it, you guys. Because, I mean, even the main player can't earn achievements. Nobody can. So if you care about achievements, multiplayer is kind of a waste of time, which is just a shame. That's not how it should be. Yeah. Uh, let's see, can we throw balls at each other? Oh yeah, look at Aiki jumping. you got to see this jumping, it's great. Isn't that the best jumping you've ever seen in a game? Yeah. I'm going to throw the ball at you, Aiki. You just keep jumping like that. Bam! Ha! The ball hit you and fell down to the ground. <laughs> it's like how <laughs> it's, it's amazing. <laughs> This model just goes up <laughs> yes. and down. There's like no deep ending <laughs> or anything. Davey, uh, I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but Davey Dasov asks if people play this for relaxation. And yes, it is definitely a very relaxing game. But I think there's some of the same appeal that you get from Minecraft and uh, what's that 2D Minecraft game, Tyler? The one you like? Yeah, Terraria. Terraria. Games like that, that in which you get to build things. Like There's a lot of that same appeal in this, except you're, you know, you're building the farm you're you can buy a lot of different things and place them yep. and stuff in fact I'll, I'll show a little bit of that real quick another improvement for 17 is you can go to the store at any time you just hit the back button on the controller so you don't have to physically go to the store and buy things so that saves you some time and trouble there is still a physical store you can visit but there's just there's all these different machines you can buy you can buy a chainsaw which of course we have to do Thank you for your purchase. Okay, I bought a chainsaw. Um, thank you for your purchase. It it gave me one. Right, did as soon as you bought nice. it. How did you equip it? It just prompted me. I want my chainsaw. Yeah, like ah. Okay, I gotta pay better attention. But I want my dang chainsaw. Oh, it's. I think they went to our garage or something. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Cycling guy Nola says you play this while you're drunk and then you can just pass out quickly. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> um, guys, where do the things we buy go? Does anyone have an idea? Um... Did you buy like a new vehicle? I bought vehicle? three chainsaws, and yeah, Aaron oh. got his chainsaw right away, but I didn't. Huh. I don't know. That is a bummer. Yeah, probably next to some building. We got somewhere. a barn here. Get rid of straw and hay. If you have a surplus of straw and hay bales, you can place them here and receive some money in return. Okay, that's handy. Oh, and hey, we've got chickens. Well, I really wanted a chainsaw so I could cut down some trees. 
Well, I've got mine equipped if you want to. But I couldn't get it from you. Chickens, rooster. I had a pet chicken as a kid. Any of you guys ever have one? They don't make good nope. pets. I uh, know. But, uh, I mean, they were cute. Like, we would go to this church thing and they gave everybody little baby chickens. You sure that's not for you to eat? <laughs> no, it was, it was for pets. But you could <laughs> raise it and eat it, I guess. Although that would be horrible. Yeah, did they lay eggs at least? You keep the eggs? <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't keep it for very long. We just, you know, we had to... It oh, wasn't okay. practical. To... The thing was, it was a boy, right? And it would crow in the mornings. And one of our neighbors actually called the uh -huh. police and complained on us. Uh, yeah, it was a shame because he was. Okay, I think this might be can... where we keep our stuff. Let's see. Oh, perfect zero. That's cold. Seeds and fertilizer. Oh, and by the way, you can turn on whether or not you want gas to be consumed by vehicles, and then if they are, then you have to actually buy gas at the gas station. Okay, at least show me the chainsaw, but I want my f dang chainsaw, man. I'm feeling... I'm climbing up a tree right <laughs> now. <laughs> See, you can do everything in this game. It's like real-life simulator. Oh, wait, yep, no, there's right. a button to... Up on the D-pad pulls out a chainsaw. Yes. Okay, let me go find some trees, and we're going to cut down some trees. Look at me at the top of the well, tree. Well, I wish I knew where you were. Then you can cut down By the tree this. that he's on. That would be rad. I'm over by the basketball court. Still. Yes, the achievements are easy in this. Is Oh, and there's real trees there. I guess I could just hop over there then. <laughs> Alright. I see uh, you. Oh, are you on top of a building? Uh, You're actually no. in a tree. Yes. Okay, that doesn't count. Looking for trees that'll actually let me cut down. I've tried to and it doesn't. These are the wrong kind of trees, why? It's because they're residential. Looking for logic, he is actually on top of a tree. That's great. That's so much fun. Yeah, Wendell, you're right. There's a lot of things that need improvement. Like I said, I really don't think the developers play other games. Whoever's in charge of the development, I should say probably doesn't play other games, so like there's a lot of things that games do better, a lot of ideas they could borrow if they would just, you know, play other games a little more. But, I mean, but still, it's pretty neat. Did you know you can change your uh, chainsaw height by pressing up on oh, the Oh yeah, that's because I bought a bunch. It won't let me cut this tree down either. We've got to find a tree that's actually cuttable. Maybe one of those big ones over there? Uh, yeah, it is supposed to be relatively easy, and actually we're going to have an achievement guide next week, guys. I'm going to work on figuring out the other achievements that I haven't done yet. Dude, I can't believe we can't even find a tree to chop down. Icky, you could be trying too. Oh, he's doing the contest stuff. Yeah, he's doing it. Cruising around in the truck. Ah! Just drove right does, through me. Does Dean have messaging for contests at all? It has private messaging. You have to be watching the chat right then and there. That's what's not good. Hmm. That's strange. Yeah, we're going to try it, though. I mean, like, we've been doing a smaller prize count lately, so it, it'll be a little more manageable than back when we were doing, like, 15 or 20 every time. Okay. Do you remember that guy, Tyler, who complained when we didn't have PC prizes and he just left one day? It was, I don't know, a few months back. Yeah, yeah anyway, yeah. he left a, a comment on tonight's article. He was like, no Steam prizes for four weeks in a row, and I was just like... You know, uh, that doesn't really make us want to please you. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Alright, well... Hey, we have a Japanese frozen watermelon. What? A Japanese guy, I guess. Named frozen oh, welcome. Watermelon. Oh, you had another yeah, his name is in again. Japanese writing. That's fun. 
No, not in the game, but just yeah. in the Twitter chat. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have that. He's frozen with the ah. man, I guess. In Japan, nice. The first two I could understand, but the last three I Sweet. couldn't. Here's the town map, by the way, you guys. Like, there, There's quite a lot of different plots you can eventually buy. Uh, if you're playing single player, there's other farmers, and you can do jobs for them and earn money that way. So, I mean, there's quite a lot of stuff to do. It's, you know, in that way, it's a well-made game. There's lots and lots of stats. If you're into stats, there's plenty of those. And you can adjust, like, how fast time passes. All kinds of little things. So, it is a shame that, apparently, chopping down trees is impossible. But, it, oh, nice. When you have the chainsaw out, you even have a protective mask on your head. You see mine? Yeah, I was going to say that. All right, uh, welcome Chupacabras behind you. That's a fun name. Yeah, uh, we do. Uh, no, we do have PlayStation prizes sometimes, and in fact, tonight we have one PlayStation code we're giving out at the end of the stream. So if you can stick around for it, you can enter to win that prize. Icky, which prize is that? Um, Shantae. Yeah, Shantae. Yeah. And the pirates. Yeah, so we do have a, a PlayStation prize, guys. It's not an every time thing, but it's a sometimes thing. And we certainly like to have a nice variety okay. of prizes when we can, but just uh, it depends on the That's day. A, it's a fun game to win. Too. Yeah, really cool game. Women don't use chainsaws, Zero says. Yeah, guys, don't forget to follow us, but also it's very important that you follow us on Beam. Yeah, Beam. will somebody type the Beam command? Tonight we don't have PC prizes unless you count the Xbox gift cards we're giving away because those can be used to buy Windows 10 games. Things on the Windows 10 store. Yeah. So you could use it towards Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Quantum Break, Minecraft, several different things. Yeah, guys, don't forget to follow us on Beam, seriously. Beam.pro slash Windows Central. You, we have a command for it. You can use it to buy... State of Decay or Dead Rising, they're both on sale this weekend. Oh, here's, here's a question mark. Oh, nice. Mark. What's over there? It says, just talks about the train system. Oh, well, there's the trains. Yeah, if you like exploring, there's a bunch of crap to do. There's actually a bunch of collectibles in single-player mode you can look for. But uh, we're about... To... Oh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was about to tell you. <laughs> Torky says he's surprised it's not wow. isometric. Yeah, we noticed, Bob Jones. I saw you in the beam chat, even though we hadn't started it there. That's great, Azad Sadiq. We appreciate your support. And hey, UFC Nightwood. Yeah, guys, make a beam account now. Get your username. That way you can get whatever username you want. Like, the before beam gets too popular and all the names will be taken, you can get your name right now. So, like, I couldn't get East X at Twitch, but I do have East X at beam so that's nice uh, anyway we're gonna wrap up our farming simulator portion of the stream it's got six player online multiplayer quite a lot of stuff to do in single player it is fifty dollars available on xbox one and playstation 4 different versions of it are on pc playstation vita 360 etc whoa AJ is bragging about his uh, dealness or flipping or whatever, but good job there. So that has been Farming Simulator 2017, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and quit. This will kick everybody out. There's no host migration. All right, guys, we're going to take a short break, five minutes or less, and then we're going to be back with Titanfall 2. Please stick around. Titanfall 2 is when we're giving out all the cool prizes, so definitely stick around for that. Paul just said the Gears isn't cool. Oh no, Gears is fine. But even better stuff during the Titanfall 2 portion, by design. <laughs> Alright, Nola will be back in a bit. Welcome, ATIF USA 13 Yeah, everybody, please stick around. Don't forget, follow me on Twitter, at Paul Aracevedo. Follow us on Beam. Had to cough. Uh, thank you for your help, guys. Yeah. There you yep. go. And whatever you do, don't hate. Okay. Appreciate. See ya. Bye.